HP 3D Digital Sintering is a 3D simulation tool designed to demonstrate the likelihood of a part surviving the sintering process. It considers anisotropic shrinkage observed in binder jetting, making it a powerful tool for predicting outcomes. Unique features of HP 3D Digital Sintering include the ability to load a part and a live setter, facilitating simulations and compensations for both. Additionally, users can view a geometry with a ceramic setter without dealing with cumbersome boundary conditions. The tool offers numerous adjustable variables, including initial porosity, viscosity pre-exponent, activation energy, and surface energy. These parameters can be fine-tuned to achieve precise results with multiple simulation iterations but fewer print iterations. Using the software effectively involves thorough analysis and refinement before printing or sintering. This preparation is crucial and integrating project planning or Six Sigma activities can further enhance the process. Performing initial simulations and analyses regularly becomes a beneficial habit. For instance, consider the HP hub part. The original geometry is displayed on the left. When scaled up to account for shrinkage, the digital sintering software predicts deformation in specific areas. At this point, users have options. Proceed with the existing geometry if the deformation is acceptable, modify the design to reduce deformation, or compensate the geometry for the predicted distortion. Another powerful feature of digital sintering is its ability to use STLs and 3MFs as input files. Initially, most input files were STL, which often required significant cleanup before simulations. Even CAD files were frequently not watertight and needed repairs. Digital sintering accepts these imperfect files and resolves geometrical features through voxelization, producing print-ready STL or 3MF files. Print ready means the files can be plugged into leading build preparation tools without needing further geometry repairs. The files can be exported in 3MF or STL formats. To start a simulation from scratch, users can select New Simulation, choose the part's name and material, either 316 or 17 to 4 currently, upload the part, and begin. Alternatively, duplicating an existing part allows users to inherit all its material characteristics and run parameters, which can then be modified slightly as needed. The power of simulations is exemplified by this T-bar case. Here, users can adjust material properties or end temperatures to predict different curvatures or deformations. This information helps identify primary drivers for retaining size and shape. Digital tools are essential, but insufficient on their own to ensure design success. Their predictive power and ability to test various outcomes are crucial in reducing design iterations and achieving a production-ready outcome. Conducting simulations early in the process maximizes value and minimizes print iterations needed for tangible results.